Over the past week, we've been reporting on allegations of physical abuse inside the Church of Scientology. The allegation has been made by a number of four former high-ranking Scientologists, former members of the Sea Organization, which is the Church's religious order, and the allegations are against the Church's leader, David Miscavige. The former Inspector General, Marty Rathbun, former spokesman of the Church, Mike Rinder, and other former members of the elite management group, including Jeff Hawkins, Tom DeVock, Amy Scobie, and Steve Hall, all have made allegations that David Miscavige used and encouraged, and encouraged physical abuse. Rathbun, Rinder, and DeVock all admit to some acts of physical violence themselves, but say it was at the direction of encouragement of David Miscavige. They also say it wasn't to the extent that David Miscavige was punching, kicking, and choking subordinates. Now, the church strongly denies all those claims, sending us dozens of affidavits, emails, letters, calling those speaking out liars. They, they say Miscavige never abused members and insist only the accusers were the abusers. They also say it was because of that abuse that they were removed from positions of power within the church. Now, earlier this week, we spoke with the ex-wives of some of the men making the claims of abuse. The women who are current high-ranking seniors in the Church of Scientology told us that their ex-husbands are bitter and out to destroy the person who removed them from power, saying they're working in collusion in an attempt to seek revenge against the church's leaders. Here's more of my interview with them. I read all of your affidavits. Obviously, your ex-husbands have made charges against David Miscavige, saying that they have seen repeated acts of physical violence perpetrated by Mr. Miscavige. I I is any of that true? No. no. Not one no. ounce of it. Not one. Why, why do you think they're saying these things? I think that they are bitter individuals who once had a life that had glory and some form of power, and they now have nothing. They have no job. They have no life. And the media is giving them attention, and they're going for that attention. But we personally know, I mean, I slept with Tom DeVock for almost 20 years. I knew every inch of him. If he ever complained about something, if he had a headache, if he had a backache, he had me rub his feet at night. I mean, I was his wife. I never saw one scratch. I never saw one bruise. I never saw one black eye, nothing. Nor did he complain about anything personally. And he would have told me because any, anything that would happen, <laughs> I would know about. And besides that, that's not the character of Mr. David Miscavige. Nothing like that. It's outrageous that these men are doing that, and they're bitter, and they're getting attention from the media. And you were married to, to Marty Rathbun? Fifteen years. I know the men better than anybody else. Now, you got to understand, Marty Rathbun is a liar, okay? When he left, he's alleging that when he left in 2004, it was because he witnessed Mr. Miscavige beating somebody up or whatever. As right after he left, I'm the first person he called. He called me right away. And it never came up. He never mentioned it, okay? He, he says that he did mention it to you. No, he did not. Absolutely not. It's a lie. Catherine, how about you were married to Jeff Hawkins? Well, yes, I was married to Jeff Hawkins during the entire time of these allegations that he said apparently happened. I was, you know, we were very close. Obviously, we were married. He used to tell me about everything he did, the meetings he went to, etc. He never mentioned one thing. To the contrary, he mentioned to me how much Mr. David Miscavige supported him, how much he believed in him. And Catherine, you were married to, to Mike Rinder yeah, I for was. a long time. Uh, he says that, that he was beaten by David Miscavige some 50 times. And, and multiple people have also said that they saw Mike Rinder bearing the brunt of David Miscavige's murder. Mike Rinder, Mr. Miscavige never laid a hand on Mike Rinder. I lived with Mike Rinder for over 35 years. I know every square inch of Mike Rinder's body. I know everything that's ever happened to him, every accident, every time he broke his wrist. I, I've been with him. We've been together all our lives. It's utterly ridiculous, and it isn't true. And I certainly would have seen it. And the reason why I know that is I happened to be in a meeting in January 2004 when Marty Rathburn suddenly went and leapt on top of Mike Rinder and fought him to the ground and started choking him and beating him. How I, is it that no one came forward I will answer to call the police? I will, answer, I will tell you. At that point in time, he had a personal conversation with me and said to me, and, I, I, and said to me specifically as he was bouncing his knee nonstop, Jenny, I think I'm going nuts. I think I'm crazy. And we thought, okay, we can help this man. We're going to have to help him with Scientology technology. Mm -hmm. It wasn't days later that he took off. So I, what is the procedure for dealing with somebody who is physically violent? I mean, because in any corporation in the United States, if, uh, if a superior assaulted, punched, kicked, strangled, uh, you know, somebody else in the company, 
that person would be out of the company and the police would be called. And what? he is out. And he was out. That's what you have to understand, Anderson. So Time. for about three years, according to members of the church, mm -hmm. your husband was physically assaulting. It was in, it was isolated incidents. It well, this is an isolated incident. This is a consistent, virulent uh, physical harassment. Yeah, you're... That, we understand what you're saying, yeah. and here's the, the fact. No, what, what I'm saying is that you, 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 you were married to a man who, for three years, had a, was a high-ranking member of this church who was assaulting people, and, and, and Mr. nothing Miscavige, seemed to be done about it. Mr. Miscavige was not at the, at the property at the time. Do you not have telephones? <clears throat> of course we have telephones. So I, I think you, you're being quite rude and quite yeah. insulting. Here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. There is no history of violence in the church. That there was isolated instances, and yes, you have that you do have written declarations that Marty Rathman was a violent man. So, what do their ex-husbands say about what they've said? The men accusing David Miscavige of physical violence. Well, we're going to hear.